Embedded insurance is about getting more relevant and personalized insurance to people when and where they need it the most. It's part of a broader movement towards embedded finance, where non-financial organizations can embed financial service solutions into its own services and customer journeys. So rather than going to where the insurance is sold, the insurance comes to you, embedded in other people's products and services you use every day. And that fundamentally changes the distribution model. Simon Torrance, a leader in this space, predicted a $3 trillion market opportunity for those who enable it. Let's be honest, no one lies in bed at night and dreams about insurance. You think about your next car, your dream home, that limited edition pair of trainers, or how to grow your business. But these all have connections with finance and insurance. The old adage goes, insurance is not bought, it is sold. The rub is that it's hard to sell insurance. But if purchased at the right moment, it becomes easier. It's about transactional proximity. How close can you embed insurance to a product or service that the end customer is actually interested in? If executed well, new categories of insurance can be created alongside lots of other benefits. Historically, on the demand side, insurance products are complicated, inflexible, expensive, regularly missold, difficult and annoying to buy. In the main, these are managed by primarily large insurers and were sold direct, online or through price comparison websites or otherwise through agents, brokers and other affinity partners on the phone, face to face and often with lots of paperwork. On the supply side, moving customers to where you are is exceedingly expensive. The cost of distribution can rise up to sometimes 50% of total industry costs. And these are customers who often don't understand, trust, or want the exact product you're selling. Challenging, right? Well, as a consumer of insurance, products and services are coming to you that should be more contextual, relevant, and easy to buy, which can only be a great thing. As third parties looking to embed insurance and insurance companies looking to provide risk mitigation services, you are making insurance more accessible as well as delivering more value. Everything is focused around context. Context of where in the flow you are becomes more important than the price. Think about it. Embedded products enjoy a distribution advantage because they can be purchased where customers are and with brands they trust, creating more loyalty and engagement. They can become features of the product rather than something that is separately bought. They can leverage different types of data from third parties for underwriting and claims, allowing you to create smoother, and more powerful products and propositions. And because they are part of the broader third party offering, they can delight the customer in new ways and in delivery. Embedded insurance is not a new concept. For example, bank insurance has existed since the 1980s, where it started to get adopted in France and then moved to other countries. It was an agreement between a bank and an insurance company, allowing the insurance company to sell its products to the bank's customers via the sales agents in the banks. What's fundamentally changed, as with all recent distributions, is the advancement in technology. By creating modular services exposed through APIs, you can abstract insurance functionality, the products and services, into technology so that other third-party organizations and developers can in any sector seamlessly integrate innovative insurance solutions into their customer propositions and experiences. These can be either as complementary add-ons to their core offerings or as new native components. This allows everyone to reimagine what insurance could be. So rather than standard protection products being sold, partners can decide the services which works best for their customers enabling them to reconfigure, like Lego blocks, the capabilities, components, and product types from a single or multiple suppliers in new creative ways. It can range on one end from using novel distribution channels to sell existing products, to much, much deeper embedding where the product is a feature of your purchase. So three types are starting to emerge, but there could be many more. First, related embedding. This is where insurance can get a digital placement where there is related value, bridging from the third party's core product to insurance. So for example, Revolut under its mission of one app, all things money, has started to offer pet insurance alongside a host of other financial services all embedded within its app. The second is linked embedding. This is where the insurance product is embedded in the third party customer journey flow. This could be at the point of sale, 
Or in the case of Uber and Deliveroo, drivers can turn on and off at the start or end of their shifts. They have partnered with insurers like Zego and Insure, who have spotted underserved needs in the market and specialised in providing usage-based insurance to drivers. The final type could be classified as bundled embedding, as the insurance is bundled or included with your product or service. For example, you can purchase your Tesla with insurance included. My personal favourite and standout is Zong'an phone insurance embedded in phones. Before you pick up your drop phone with a cracked screen, the embedded policy will have been triggered by internal sensors and a new phone will be on its way. No messy claims or repair estimates needed. That's embedded. It's hot right now for a reason. It's an exciting space that allows you to reimagine what insurance is and could be. This is a huge opportunity, not just for insurers, but other organizations. And ultimately, exciting for the customer, as we will have more relevant and affordable coverage.